So apparently in 115 episodes of The Life of Kevin, I have not once mentioned the fact that there is Life of Kevin merch. And I'm sorry. I don't know how I managed to do that, but if you want to get the whole Sauce family on a shirt or on an art print, you can go to www.designbyhumans.com slash shop slash Captain Sauce. And every purchase will go towards supporting the series and supporting the channel. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with what the artist did. Everybody in the family just looks amazing. So if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link in the description down below. What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and for today's episode we finally get to take a look at the cats and dogs expansion but before we begin I wanted to give a big thanks to EA for sending this to me you guys have been asking me for months now am I gonna check out the latest expansion for the sims and of course I am partially because I play it every week but partially because EA does send it to me it does help quite a bit so there's really no question about that the only question left is what is Kevin gonna get because I don't really know what he's looking for. You know, it's a tough decision. Does he want to get a dog or does he want to get a cat? Is he looking for fierce loyalty and companionship or a cat? And I don't really know. I don't really want to make that decision. I, I don't like to make Kevin's decisions for him. So I decided I just leave it up to him. I went into the character creator, closed my eyes, hit random a whole bunch and smashed a whole bunch of buttons and accidentally reset some settings a few times because you probably shouldn't be doing that with your eyes closed. But ultimately, Kevin decided on our brand new pet, Taco, the raccoon. <laughs> Kevin, what? The name of the expansion is Cats and Dogs. Where did you get the bright idea of going down to the park and adopting a raccoon? Why is that even in the game? Like, maybe it's just a funny colored cat? Did you paint a cat, Kevin? Because that would be really inappropriate. We need to take a closer look at it. <laughs> why, why do you love it so much? Oh my god, it's so freaking cute. I don't think it's a differently colored cat. I definitely think it's a raccoon because it's not meowing, it's kind of chipping and it's got the, the little hands, but it's definitely got something going on upstairs. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like Kevin picked out the one raccoon that he can really relate to. This one had the dumpster lid fall on its head one too many times. Is that why you called it Taco? Is it a dumpster raccoon? Did you get this out from behind Shea Sauce? Oh my God, he's just... He's everything I've ever wanted in a pet. He's fantastic. Can we do things with him? <laughs> I'm gonna make this entire episode about Taco now. I was gonna do vet stuff and other things. That can all wait. Taco is amazing. What can we do to Taco? We can Simstagram him. Do we really wanna share the fact? Okay. Um, he's blinking. That's probably not gonna make for a good photo. We can actually take pictures of our pets. Where's he going? What is he doing? I can't even control them, right? Is he talking? Did you just talk to people? I can't get over your face. And he's so chubby. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. Seriously though, Evie, are you currently talking to Taco? You are. That's amazing. <laughs> The pets can just, like, interact with people. Well, I'm happy the family is accepting the fact that we now have a pet raccoon. Evie just became friends with Taco. Well, that's great. Good for you, Taco. What else can we do with Taco? We can praise him, pick him up, brush him, give him a treat. Listen to him yell. I don't want to just follow him around. I'm curious, what is he doing? Is he just introducing himself to the family? I think he is. He's just running around talking to everybody. He became friends with Kevin first, then went to talk to Evie. Now he's uh, trying to get on Barbie's good side. Barbie, are you just gonna ignore our brand new pet raccoon? There you go, that's right, yeah. So you're our new pet taco, huh? What is uh, going on with you? Oh, you love me? <laughs> I love you too, taco. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still dumbfounded right now. I, I need to pick myself back up. What are we doing? What can we... We can feel the love for a uh, hundred... Taco is happy and is waiting to feel the love from Kevin. Listen, man, Kevin's not into that kind of thing, Taco. It's so weird that you can't control them. I'm just gonna watch him dart around the backyard and see what exactly he's doing. Taco? Are you hunting something in there? 
Is there another raccoon in there? I don't want any raccoon babies. All right, I just got you. Oh, he was pooping. You're, you're litter trained? What a smart little raccoon. I didn't, th okay, hold on. As much as I love you, I'm not a big fan of cleaning up raccoon poop, so we got the automatic cleaning litter box. And you're just gonna take, why am I watching a raccoon take a dump right now? Y you get the whole pet experience here, folks. <laughs> I'm more so curious how it's going to clean itself. I think there was one that cleans with cat eye lasers or something insane like that. I, I went with the one step down. I figured cat eye lasers is whoa, a bit much. You had a lot to give, did you, bud? Oh my god, it even leaves little turds and everything. Okay, now clean yourself. Go ahead. Make it happen. You're supposed to clean yourself, you piece of crap. To oh, wait, wait, there you go. Genius. We're never gonna clean up poop again, Kevin. So what are you, are you going back for seconds? No, he's just trying to figure out where the poop went. Listen, man, I don't question it. They push it away, it disappears, that's all that matters. Kevin, the fact that you can have an intellectual discussion with your pet raccoon doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Why can it talk? Why is it so freaking smart? Let's give it a treat. You know what, we haven't fed it since we got it. It's just kind of pooped and that's about it. So we're gonna, yeah, we love it to the moon and back. And we're gonna give him something to eat. I don't know if I need to get like a food bowl and feed them regularly, or do I just shovel Here treats go. in its mouth? There you go, use Here your go. little hands or, or not. Yeah, we're gonna train you better than that. I know he's not technically a cat, but he's kind of a cat. He does a lot of cat-like things. And I think the game refers to him as a cat sometimes, which is a little bit weird. So maybe raccoon is like a subsection of cat, being why it's cats and dogs, not cats and dogs and raccoons. But I love it anyway. I didn't really want a cat. I was hoping for a dog, but I didn't want to make that decision because I know there's a lot of cat people and a lot of dog people and I don't know. Turns out you get a raccoon if you don't choose one or the other. Kind of curious why they ended up naming him Taco, though. Like, Taco isn't exactly a... Oh my god, his name is Taco Sauce. This is the best random name ever! It's interesting watching him just sprint around a lot. He goes into one house, he runs around, he runs out into the other house, and then runs around aimlessly. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason. Like, I would imagine that they have a lot of, like, self-interactions because I, I can't control them, so obviously they're gonna be up to something, but he doesn't seem to really be up to anything other than running for the sake of running. I guess he's just happy to have an indoors that isn't a dumpster. You know what, Kevin? Taco lacks discipline. He's got too much energy. We're gonna have to train him, so I've set up a bit of an obstacle course. Let's see how smart this raccoon really is. We're gonna command him to go through a hoop. Go on, Taco. Jump through the hoop for me. You you can do it. Oh, you're gonna start over there? Kevin has reached level one of pet training skill? Kevin has acquired the pet training skill. He will be able to train dogs to sit, speak, fetch, roll over, and lie down, as well as show off their pets to other sims. Okay, I don't really have a dog, but I'm sure I would love to show off my raccoon to other sims, so he can do the small hoop. Try a medium hoop. What do you think, Taco? Can you make this work? You have a leg up on every other creature. You have little hands, so... Is that a yes? I'm waiting for him to say no and like bite Kevin in the leg. <laughs> Please don't get rabies or tetanus or... That was amazing. <laughs> okay, you know what? I am impressed so far. Oh, we can run the obstacle course with Taco? All of this stuff acts as an obstacle course together? Ooh, okay. We'll, we'll try everything individually to make sure that he can do it. Right? Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't seem to really get it. The derp factor is coming in. Oh, no, no, he got it. He figured it out. He figured it out. Way to go. I got all these backwards. That's my bad, Taco. There you go, Kevin. Praise him. He's doing a good job. We're going to see if he can go through this giant metal tube like he's a toddler. There you go. In. And then... Back out? Yeah. I am impressed. So far, Taco is batting 100%. Who would have guessed that Kevin would get the smartest raccoon at the park? <laughs> oh my god. Kevin, I'm starting to wonder if Taco is actually smarter than you. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I get the feeling if I made you run through all these, you might get three out of five. 
So, ooh. I don't know why that's impressive, but it is. He managed to walk through all that. Uh, and, and finally, let's get him up on this thing. If, if he does this, we'll run through the obstacle course and <laughs> I'll be fully impressed at the fact that you already have an incredibly well-trained raccoon. How can he even see anything? His eyes look in different directions. <laughs> well, there you go. I, I guess that's all that I really needed to do. Uh, let's, uh, let's request a song from him. Speak. Speak, Taco. <laughs> he can give us little raccoon songs. That is fantastic. Okay. Yup. You know what? I think you're ready. We're going to run the obstacle course with Taco. All right, Kevin. I don't really know. Whoa. Okay. So it automatically detects everything in the area and sets up an obstacle course for us. That's one of the most intuitive things that I've seen in The Sims in a very long time. So I can actually make whatever kind of course I want and then run Taco through them. And there's even a little challenge. He gets 20 total faults. Uh, when a pet does something wrong, Pet Agility Worldwide, otherwise known as PAW, considers it a fault. This can be anything from a pet stalling to them going through an obstacle incorrectly to them not even running through an obstacle at all. Keep your pets well trained to avoid this. We apparently already have a masterfully trained raccoon because he's doing everything flawlessly. Three green. Whoa, whoa. Tip, tip. Oh, no, Kevin, you overworked him. He's so tired. No. Kevin, it's not his fault. That doesn't even count as a fault. Is, is he just exhausted? Can I? I can't even see his needs or anything like that. Oh, we didn't. Oh, Kevin, don't cry. We didn't even give him a bed. We've been oh, feeding him treats and running him through stuff since we got him. There you go, little buddy. I'm sorry I overworked you, but don't worry. The judges aren't going to consider it a fault. So we're still flawless. He just needed a little break in between. <laughs> Kevin took that really hard for some reason. I don't even know if you can get a raccoon bed. I, I really doubt it. There you go. Self-assured. Lots of positive reinforcement. We only have two left. And then he gets a flawless run. Oh, oh, he did... I think he just cheated this. Oh no, he's going through the other way, okay. It's like he just ran past it the other way and it went green. Okay, so far so good. One more, the easiest one is literally jumping up on a funny looking table. I believe in you, Taco. That, that has to be flawless, right? 10 out of 10, yeah! Why do we have such a well, whoa, whoa, what is he doing? He's smelling his own ass? Why do we have such a flawlessly trained raccoon? I cannot believe this. Not bad, but not perfect. Taco had a time of two hours and one fault during their run. You didn't count it as a fault, you liars. I know he passed out, but oh God, what's wrong with Apple? We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, make sure Kevin gives a oh, crap. Make sure Kevin gives them proper training and discipline before running the course again. You know what? I feel like Taco is already perfect. We will try again. I will set up a much more difficult obstacle course at some point. But overall, I'm impressed. Did Apple get some kind of weird disease from our dumpster raccoon? Oh no, she's good. She just needed to walk through the house and she's clean again. Okay, you know what that works? <laughs> Wait, 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 Barbie, I need you to come talk to Taco. Imagine if a giant pink human walked up to you and decided to strike up a conversation. How would you feel about that? I'm not sure how I would do, but I'm curious how Taco will react, if at all. I don't think he... <laughs> I don't think he even notices. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, Taco, you have the giant raccoon mom you you never had. I can't I can't even look at Taco's face. You forget, and then when you see it again, you're like, man, those eyes are big and all over the place. Hey, 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 no, no, you don't want to fall asleep and the raccoon piss, you have a bed. Speaking of bed, I wasn't able to find any kind of pet bed, so I guess they can just kind of sleep anywhere. I did find a pet food bowl, though, so we do need to feed Taco. That is very important to know 24 hours after getting him.
Good choice. <laughs> so why don't we fill his bowl? And uh, I found this thing. I think it's for cats. We can't actually do anything with it other than transform it. But maybe he'd like something to crawl around on. Yeah, raccoons are big fans of that, right? So I'm just gonna go put food in this, and then you can do really whatever you want, Taco. This is here for you now. You can kind of sleep on that, right? It's got like a little hammock and a box and a bunch of platforms and things like that. And I know people are going to ask me, are you going to get more pets? I don't think the sauces are going to get multiple pets. I'm pretty happy with just Taco, but we also have grim parenting and we also have a bad witch. So finding a place for a cat and a dog shouldn't be too difficult. My only concern now is when is he ever going to sleep? The dude just sprints around nonstop. There has to be something that you want to do, Taco. I know you can't just eat and play all day. Right? Are you going to chase? Yeah, you're going to chase your tail around for a little bit. For some reason, Tommy is sleeping in Kevin's bed again. Why do Sims have such a hard time sleeping in their beds? They sleep on couches in other people's beds that they haven't claimed in the backyard in a bush. At some point, I should probably get the whole Sauce family checked out by, uh, doctor? Taco, what you doing? I feel like he's ripping some mad farts in there. Taco has been sprayed by a skunk. Gross, that lingering smell should go away eventually. Why is there a skunk in my backyard? Do you stink now? Are you, oh, oh God. Why do I have ghost problems everywhere? I mean, it's not my fault that people die around me. Who are you again? Rayanch Trivedi. I don't even remember how you died, just stay away from Taco. <laughs> yeah, you, oh God, you reek now. So it said that the smell would go away eventually. I'm guessing that means I can't actually bathe you. Is that a thing? Uh, what's wrong? I can ask. Intellectual discussion, again, not really surprised. Calm down, Taco. We can become companions. This is a whole bunch of stuff here. Don't, don't hug him. Hakeem, are you freaking kidding me right now? Should you not be butlering? Why are you, why does everybody have such a hard time sleeping anywhere in my house? Hakeem literally got in the hot tub to sleep. He has a bed. I gave him a bed, right? Or yeah, he's got a bed right here. It belongs to Hakeem. The door is open. There is a door. He just chooses to sleep in the hot tub. Oh my God, who cares about Hakeem sleeping? <laughs> we have little raccoon sleeps. Okay, so they don't need a bed. They can sleep anywhere they want. That's good. I was <laughs> concerned. Cool. Kevin, this is what you get for petting a raccoon that just got sprayed by a skunk. What on? Those don't look good. Why don't we get in the hot tub with Hakeem and see if we can infect him? <laughs> Is that a dick move? That might be a bit of a dick move. But you know what? This is our hot tub, so we're just going to stew here next to Hakeem. Yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, yeah, maybe cough in the water a little bit. Just perfect. This is what you get, Hakeem. I'm going to get my whole face scab right in the water. I would actually die laughing if he woke up infected with whatever this is. We got coon pox or something like that. Evie, what you doing? Did she just throw some food to Taco? <laughs> she did! You can feed your pet from the table. That's probably not good. I don't think you're supposed to do that, right? You're supposed to make them eat out of their bowl. Otherwise, they're going to constantly think they get human food. Taco's probably used to human food, let's be honest. That's what happens when you're a dumpster raccoon. Is there anything else interesting that you can do with pets? Finding new things. Yeah, they'll give some food to Taco. You can mind control them as well. Oh, they can have outfits. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Don't, don't mind control the raccoon. It's interesting that you can have all of these interactions with your raccoon as if you can talk to them. I don't know if other pets are like that. Is that a raccoon specific thing or is it a cat dog thing? Don't hug family members when you're covered in scabs. Kevin, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm here trying to figure out if we got a super smart or a super stupid raccoon. And it's really a coin toss at this point, but either way, he is 100% cute, and that's really all you want from a pet. Oh my god, I can't even handle it. Oh, that's, that's Tom. That's Tom. I forgot. He had that disguise when he... 
got into the sexy bear thing. Why, why do you still have that? Why are you wearing that? Well, he can definitely lick his own junk. And I mean, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, I can see you there. I, I'm impressed, but it doesn't seem like I can actually make him do anything with this cat jungle gym. He can't interact with it, maybe because he isn't a cat. Yeah, you see, I'm not a cat, I I'm a raccoon. No, no, stop going in. Oh, are you killing birds now? Maybe? That, that's a strong, that's a strong maybe. What is he gonna come out with this time? One time no skunk? Oh my god, he killed something. What did you do? What is this? Open, throw away, put in inventory. What do you mean open, Kevin? Kevin, come open. You're looking healthier this morning, Kevin. Good for you. Kevin has found an item inside of a pile of feathers. One seagull feather, one cardinal feather, one heron feather. So he literally just jumped into this bush and messed up a whole bunch of birds and then gave Kevin the feathers. I guess that's a lot better than a skunk, Kevin, so we're gonna give you a treat. There you go. Good job. You just keep scaring the birds away. I should probably get rid of the party bushes so that family members stop passing out in them and so that other family members stop hurting things in them, but it's interesting to see what the pets can interact with. I've been just following him around this entire time. I mean, sometimes he does interesting things and sometimes he just goes and takes a massive raccoon poop. Ever wonder what a raccoon's face looks like when it poops? Something like that. I don't know what I'm more impressed with right now. The fact that when you say, does a bear shit in the woods, the answer is no, it uses the toilet, or the fact that he's actually using it. So he can, I just can't order him to. It kind of does whatever he wants. I really want to see you climb up and, and do stuff with it. Please? Yay! You see, that's a perfect place to sleep because now people won't step on you when they can't see through their giant, uh, mascot heads, okay? The, the family is in desperate need of some house cleaning. We have a lot of residual crap from past episodes that just keep popping up. And Kevin actually went to work, thank God. All right, Taco, let's not go getting too comfortable around here now. Ooh, he's, ooh, he's having little raccoon dreams. <laughs> I'm done, I'm so done. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy Taco. I, I know some people are gonna be a little bit disappointed that I didn't get a cat, or I didn't get a dog, or I didn't get everything, but I'm really happy. I absolutely love him. I think he's the perfect addition to the Sauce family because he's just so weird and derpy. He's exactly like Kevin. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.